What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to downgrade your device from iOS 12 down to iOS 11.3.1. Now you can use this exact same method and follow this tutorial along if you wanna downgrade your device from iOS 12 down to iOS 11.4 as well. Now the reason that I'm going down to 11.3.1 is because 11.3.1 is very possibly going to be jailbroken very soon. An exploit was released today as a matter of fact, so there's probably very possibly going to be a jailbreak pretty soon. But if you're not worried about jailbreaking and you just want to get off iOS 12 and downgrade to iOS 11.4, then you can follow this tutorial as well. I'll show you right here. So the first thing that you want to do is download the IPSW. So of course if you're downgrading to iOS 11.3.1, then you want to download iOS 11.3.1. If you're downgrading to iOS 11.4, then you need to download iOS 11.4. So I'll put a link in the description below for you guys and it'll bring you directly to this website right here. Now this is gonna make it really easy to walk you through and download the correct firmware. So we have an iPhone 10 right here. This is a GSM iPhone 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on iPhone and we have the iPhone 10 GSM. Now there's also an iPhone 10 global and there's GSM and global for basically all of these devices. If you don't know if you have GSM or global, then you want to click on another link that I'll put in the description, and this is going to tell you what you have. So if you scroll up here to the top, you can see there's always a model number on the back of your device. You can also check this in uh, settings, general, about, and then you have your model number right here. So you basically just look at that model number and look for it on this list, and then you can see if you have GSM or you have CDMA, which is global. So once you figure that out, then you're going to download it right here. So this is where you're going to download either 11.4 or 11.3.1. So I've already downloaded 11.3.1, but basically you just click right here, click download, and then I saved it to my desktop, which you can see right here. So the next thing that you wanna do is make sure your device is plugged in to your computer. So mine has done that, and then you want to turn off Find My iPhone. So in order to do that, you just tap on Settings, go up here to the top, and then tap on iCloud, and then down here at the bottom, you have Find My iPhone right there. So we're gonna turn that off, and then you just type in your password here to completely turn it off. All right, so now that we've turned off Find My iPhone, we should be good to go. So the next thing that you wanna do is put your device into DFU mode. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on the iPhone 10 since this is what we're going to be using today, but it's going to be a little bit different for, let's say the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 7, as well as uh, older devices. So just Google how to put your device into DFU mode. It's pretty simple on all devices. Um, for the iPhone 10, it's a little bit different. So basically all we wanna do is restart our device. So in order to do that, you just hit the volume up button, then the volume down button, and then you hold the power button until it starts to reboot. And that's actually going to put it into DFU mode uh, if it's plugged into your device or your iMac. So we're just gonna do that now. So volume up, volume down, hold down the power button, and it should start to reboot. I'll try to get my fingers out of the way, but I don't wanna let go of the button. Now, the way that you know that your device gets into DFU mode is you'll get a notification on your computer. Now, if that doesn't work and you get the Apple logo, which I'm getting right here, there we go. Now, if it doesn't work the first time and you don't get a notification on your computer, then just reboot your device and try it again. So for the iPhone 10, there is a little bit different notification. You'll see restore and update, but I'm just gonna click cancel right here and then I'm gonna open up iTunes. Now on other devices, it'll just say something like you need to restore your device before it can be used. So what we're gonna do here is on a Mac, we're gonna hold down the option key and then click restore iPhone. If you're on a Windows PC, then you can just hold the shift button and then click on restore iPhone. So we're just gonna click on the firmware that we downloaded. So this is 11.3.1 .1, and this is the one that I saved on my desktop here. So we're just gonna double click on that and then you'll get a pop-up here that says iTunes will erase and restore your phone to iOS 11.3.1 and will verify the restore with Apple. Now, one thing to mention when you're downgrading is let's say that I'm on iOS 11.3.1 and then I upgrade to iOS 12. Then I use my phone for, you know, a week. Now, all that new information 
that you gathered during that week is not going to be available to you if you downgrade. So you're actually going to have to use your newest backup from 11.3.1 once you restore your device. A lot of people get upset when they downgrade their device and then they say, you know, I lost all my messages, I lost all my pictures. There's really no way to keep all of the information that you gathered while you were on iOS 12 and bring it back down to iOS 11.3.1 or, you know, a, an earlier firmware. In an ideal world, if you think you're ever going to downgrade, the first thing that you want to do is back up your device before you upgrade to iOS 12. That way, if you do downgrade, you're going to have the newest backup that you can restore your device to. It'll just be a couple of days old, depending on how long you stayed on iOS 12. So as long as you're cool with all that information, go ahead and click restore. So we're going to have to walk through the entire uh, setup here just because this sees it as a fresh restore. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so we're finally done setting up. And you can see right here if we tap on settings and we tap on general, about, you can see we're on 11.3.1. .1. So at some point in the future, I can hopefully uh, jailbreak this device. All right, guys, just want to show you a really quick video on how to downgrade from iOS 12 down to iOS 11.3.1 .1 or 11.4, just depending on your preference. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.